Hello ladies and gentle peeps, Game Chanel here and welcome back to part 2 of my hunting horn build and guide tutorial. In part 1 we talked about the gear that I'm running, the horn that I'm using and uh, all the skills that, that we have. If you haven't checked that out I would suggest going back and watching that first. But uh, otherwise we'll hunt, we are hunting right now a tempered bariff with a group of strangers. It's not the most difficult monster to, to hunt really. It takes us about two minutes um, to capture it. So um, yeah, it, but it, it shows you on how to use the hunting horn and gives you an idea of it. Um, what's very important is in the beginning that you use your rock steady mantle because you want to buff your team up as fast as possible. And when you play a melody, uh, it actually takes a, a second before you, you complete it. And if you get hit by the monster and you don't wear the rock steady mantle like you saw there um, in the gameplay, then you would actually get interrupted and you wouldn't play the melody. But it's super important that you, especially in the beginning, get your team all the buffs and boosters that they need. So after that you can start going into your rotation and you can focus a little bit more on doing damage because you don't need to reapply the buffs for, for quite a bit. Um, so yeah, but anyway, I don't want to talk throughout this gameplay. I'll talk to you guys again uh, when this is over and I'll explain to you in detail on how to use the hunting horn efficiently. So before we get into the playstyle of the hunting horn, I just want to show you how much of an impact Evade Extender has on this build. Since we as a hunting horn player don't have a block or any way to negate the damage that's coming in, the only thing that we can do is actually evade. And uh, if you have no evade extender, like no level of it, um, you don't go very far. And just to show you that, um, let's see, we need one, two, three, four rolls to get to the end of this pull, all right? So keep that in mind. That is without any level of evade extender. Now, let me just go and change the equipment right here. So same position, Let's start right here. So that's one, two, three, and we are at the end of it. So instead of four, we only need three. And to be honest with you, one of these evades is usually far enough to get away from anything that's coming in. That includes, you know, a Diablos big ass head, or, um, you know, maybe Nair Gigante when he's flying up into the air. Um, probably with one, maybe two tops, you should be fine. So very important. So let me just change the weapon real quick. And I know um, this is the main weapon that I use. However, in order to show you something very important for the hunting horn I need a different one okay when it comes to playing the hunting horn it's a pretty easy weapon to get used to and to start out with however I feel like it's one of the more difficult weapons to actually master so you can deal damage while you apply the melodies and the buffs to your teammate it takes a little while to get used to that but um, once you once you have it down I think you can be very very productive so uh, let's get into the basics you can take it out with triangle as with every weapon you see the notes on the top right um, for this particular hunting horn the purple note is triangle the green note is circle and the triangle circle together makes a blue note 
uh, keep in mind that every hunting horn has different colors for the notes so some might have a circle and that's yellow or a circle and that's red it's just different for the hunting horns depending on what kind of buffs you can actually give to your teammate so when you want to play a melody and you want to you know buff someone you have to play the the notes in a particular order and you can see the order on the top right next to the notes and uh, let's say we want to do health recovery small because our teammate has lost a little bit of health and we want to just top him off you play a triangle followed by a circle and back to a triangle now on the left side you can see we have health recovery small lined up and on the left side of it you see it says r2 so if you press r2 you actually do an attack and then you play the melody you can see the health puffs up the green part around us puffs up and you also see the melody that was activated on the right and then the melody is gone if you want to you know heal someone again you have to play it again so what you can do is you can actually line up up to three um, melodies so you can do let's say let's do three small ones all right so let's do this let's just play three small ones all right so now you have three lined up so let's say you have all of these three and your teammate is at mm, i want to say half health or maybe a little less you can press r2 and you're going to start playing all three of these melodies in a row so just to show you how that looks like you're playing number one number two and number three right away this way you save a little bit of time between the melodies and uh, you can heal your teammates a little faster now one important thing to know is if one of the melodies ends with the same note that a different melody starts, you don't have to play that melody. And I know that sounds very confusing and you might have to rewind to get that, but I'm gonna show what I mean exactly. So let's play another health recovery small here, right? On the top left, you can see the melodies that or the notes that we just played. And you see the last note that we played was a triangle, a purple. Now look on the top right, health recovery starts with a purple, meaning a triangle. What that means is the last note and the first note are basically the same and you don't have to play it again. So if you wanna add another health recovery, all you need to do is press circle and triangle. And let's add a third one again, just circle and just triangle. So that saves you a whole note and a lot of time, all right? So, and as you can see, we have lined up um, three different melodies again. So another thing you can do with melodies is you can make them even stronger. What that means is if you play a melody and you press R2 at the end of it, you play the same melody again without you actually having to press all the notes. Um, and you just do the same thing again. And uh, so just to show you that, let's play the first one. Now we press R2, it goes into purple. We do another attack, we play it again, and we heal again, all right? And we still have the other two notes, or melodies lined up. So that is pretty sweet. Now, what you can also do is if you have different melodies um, lined up. So let's do earplug large, all right? Let's do this, this, oops, dang it. I played the wrong note. Can I recover from it? Mm, no, okay, so let's do this this and this okay so now we have earplugs large so if we just press r2 we'll play the earplugs if we press triangle in r2 or circle in r2 we'll actually play a different melody depending on what we need at the moment keep in mind you have to be very precise and click both buttons at the exact same time because it happened to me many many times where i just press triangle and i erase one of the melodies because i do a self-improvement which i'll get to in a second or i just press r2 and then i start from the top so let me try to time this right okay I'll, i want to do triangle r2 to play the health recovery small so let me try that all right it worked so see i play the middle one and it goes straight to the top one and then back to the bottom one because it works from the bottom up if you don't interrupt it you would interrupt it by just evading um, you can also interrupt it by pressing r2 as i showed you earlier to reinforce it that actually stops you from playing all the other melodies it just reinforces the ones that you have already played 
Okay, so now let's talk about the self-improvement real quick. So you can do double triangle at all times. The first time you do it, you, um, you queue up the movement speed. The second, so let's just do that real quick. Not to confuse you. And, um, and now let's queue it up again. You, now it actually changes into deflected attack prevention. So now we can do that. And that is that. Uh, if you play it again, you just add a bunch of deflected attack prevention to your melody list. And the reason why this is important is, let's say you have, you know, let's say you have different kind of buffs, okay? For, for this particular weapon, I would highly recommend probably doing health recovery large. Um, let's do a triangle. And a triangle circle real quick. So, wait. I did, I, I did that wrong, sorry. Health recovery large is green. Green. Circle. Uh triangle and then this all right so now we have that so um i would ha recommend keeping those up and have them ready for when your team needs that but let's say you have um as i showed you earlier my other my other hunting warrant gives defense up large attack up large and let's say a health boost you don't need to have these ready at all times because they last for quite a bit before you have to re reapply those buffs so you don't actually need to play the melodies um so what you can do is you can obviously attack with a triangle and do damage with a triangle to the monster, right? But at the same time, you're pushing away the melodies that you saved up for. So for this particular one, see, we just lost our health recovery um, and that's no good. So what you should do instead is uh, let's play another health recovery um, small real quick. So we have that lined up so you know what I mean. If you actually attack with a circle, you you play the circle notes, but there is no circle melody. So we can just keep doing this for as long as we want. It doesn't hit that hard, as you can see, but it does a good amount of damage. The hardest hitting attack, by the way, is your R2. When you play it, you do two hits for, this was exactly 400. You play it, and let's say we, we reinforce it, we hit again. That's a little, see, we do a, a double swing that does even more damage. So, um... That's your hardest hitting attack, but you can only do it if you have melodies stored up. Doesn't matter if you have one or three, um, it's all the same. Another very important thing, and that's something you have to keep in mind a master, is um, if you do a circle attack, so let's, let's achieve the weapon. Um, if you do a circle attack and you stand still, it's just like this. It's a swing, an upward swing. So unfortunately my PlayStation cut out there for a second and I have to re-record this part so I apologize for the day and night switch. Um, but anyway, what I wanted to say is if you do, if you press the L stick forward or in any direction and you do a circle attack, you actually do a longer kind of attack. You do a round attack and an upswing. Um, it's like this. What you can do with that is you can actually tie on um, another circle note or another triangle note at the end of this. So what do I mean? Let's say we play the health recovery, all right? We start out with a triangle, we go over into a circle and I'm gonna press the L stick forward while I play this and then at the end of it I add another triangle and you will see that I added it at the end of the upward swing you'll see the hunting horn glow up and you will see the note added. So let me show you that. Triangle, forward, and circle. And now at the end, you saw it, it added again, and we have the note. So what does that mean? That means that you can actually add two notes in one attack. It's a kind of a longer attack. However, you rarely get to, or in my opinion, I don't think I really get to stand around and play a circle note that much. And I'd rather be able and keep moving to close the gap maybe um, to the monster. So um, that is very that is very um, helpful to do. So let's do the health recovery, um, just to show you that it also works with a circle circle. So we do a forward, um, sorry, my bad, that didn't work. So circle forward, circle at the end, triangle, and a blue. And we have health recovery, large. And from here, as I showed you earlier, we could go into earplugs with only playing one other blue note because we already had one lined up. A 
a circle and let's add, uh, see I missed it, but you could have added a triangle at the end if you press it at the right time. And now we have earplugs large. Um, just to show you what I mean with the double buffs, by the way, you can actually do earplugs large and let's press R2 to reinforce it. Okay, so actually this one doesn't go from earplugs large into earplugs extra large. Sometimes um, some buffs do it. For example, defense large would go into defense extra large and that adds another 5% um, to your defense. Um, this one just extended it, so it just lasts longer. It's kind of it's kind of nice to have. Um, what you could do with this particular hunting horn, by the way, that's the Puke Puke one that I'm using. Um, so this one actually, let's just add three health recoveries, all right? So you could actually save three health recoveries large. Uh, let's, you know what? Let me show you that. Let's do that. Let's save three health recoveries large. And right here. So we have three lined up. So now let's let's imagine you have a, a whole team that's really low, where you have one particular player that's stunned and really low. Um, play all of these melodies. Number one, healed. Two, healed. Three, healed. And now you reinforce it, and you play all three at once, and you see this big, gigantic heal at the end, which is tr three la large heals in one swing, like in one melody. So you can probably uh, reincarnate someone with that, all right? <laughs> so that would heal someone by so much. I don't think the health bar is actually gonna get that big. But um, it's just a, it's just a good thing to keep in mind if it gets really close and you know you don't wanna you don't want the person to faint or you wanna save their ass and be the hero. Um, you can totally do that. All right, so that's pretty much all I have for the hunting horn. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any further questions um, or, or you know comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, you can leave a thumbs up. Maybe you want to subscribe. Um, as you see, I'm a small channel, but um, I would love to grow and share my builds with more people. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys at the next video.